Hello friends, welcome back. In the last tutorial we have done with this product section, when we refresh it, uh, it will display uh, 9 random products. Uh, you can increase the quantity. I have shown you the query in, the, in my last video, uh, but with a little problem, uh, it affects the button add to cart because uh, we cannot give uh, two classes in the same div or same button uh, like uh, um, uh, this like this I have given this in the last video class pro underscore D so we cannot give this I am going to remove this because we have already given a class btn btn danger extra small so I am going to remove this and now I am going to define my own attribute this is a feature of html5 you can define you can define your own attribute so for this is uh, I'm going to take a product ID if in this button so I'm defining it P I D equals to uh, just given the pro underscore ID so let's save it and come to the page refresh this so now everything is fine and let's come to the code so in this video I will uh, show you uh, when we click on this uh, category it uh, displays the product related to that categories so when we click on electronics it displays these electronic products uh, when we do ladies wear so it displays ladies uh, dresses ladies wear when we click on HP it displays HP laptops how much it has so uh, and and when we search uh, anything like uh, Samsung uh, mobile Samsung mobile it displays Samsung mobiles whatever it has uh, related to keywords so it has two three products now one of them we have inserted Samsung Galaxy Note 3 so without wasting time let's uh, start coding um, and the, this 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 is displaying without a uh, refreshment without refresh uh, we, you can you can notice uh, when we refresh it it uh, rotates it rotates but uh, in this case it not rotates and everything is uh, done dynamically so because of uh, ajax request so come to the code this is our This is our get category. Come to the action page. Where is our category? So this is category, and uh, mm, we have passed uh, this. Uh, we have passed this dollar category name in the category ID section. So I'm going to give a uh, ID, uh, not uh, ID. Pre I'm I'm going to put an. I'm going to define a HTML attribute which is for category so CID for category ID equals to it's my own attribute so I'm going to give it dollar uh, and CID refresh it uh, let's save it and when we click on this so now I'm giving a class equals to category I hope so just save this and come to the main page and now I'm going to mm, define just so dollar when we body in double quotes dot delegate delegate and name of the class dot category this is the class name category and when someone click on this class then uh, a function an anonymous function will be called so the function And give it an argument event and event dot pre 
prevent prevent default it actually prevents the refreshing of the page it prevents the this prevent default ref, uh, ref, uh, prevent the refresh of the page so when we click on do dollar we have to send a ajax request and before this uh, we have to take a variable cid equals to dollar this dot a t t r this is an uh, um, attribute this is for attribute a t t r and we have to name give the name of the uh, attribute we have defined so what is the name we have defined we have defined name this uh, cid just copy it from here and paste within this here so let's save it now we have this uh, cat uh, category id when we click on category so so we are able to fetch the data from our uh, php page so for this instance i am checking it it works or not cid let's save it and come to the page when we click on this sorry this is not this is project one folder when we click on this electronics it says one because the id of electronics is one when you do ladies it says two and men's it says three similarly when you go hp uh, it's not because we have not defined six so we have id so now we have to pass in a jacks request dollar dot jacks url just copy this hello copy it and paste it here now uh, this is an ajax request just change the get get a very get underscore selected category get underscore selected category just copy it from here and come to the page action so here we can define our if it is set dollar underscore post just paste get underscore selected category just take the you have to pass uh, id so from here come here and write uh, cat underscore id colon and uh, give cid this is actually this variable cid and now we have cat uh, this id in this cat underscore id come to this page and dollar underscore post cat underscore id dollar cid category id so write an query dollar uh, uh, sql equals to all from products select all from products where come to the php management and fast fast and this is our khan store database So this is our products. This is our product underscore ID. This is our product underscore cat. When when we fetch data, uh, select all from products where 
this id product underscore cat is equal to our passes id is equal to our this dollar c id product underscore id equals to dollar c id so now you are now you understand why i am giving this column for product and cat because these are the uh, according by this uh, category um, by this id we can fetch uh, those particular categories which i want so come to the page dollar run query mysql underscore query dollar connection comma dollar sql colon and while loop dollar raw is to mysqli underscore page array so dollar run query now fetch the now we have to copy this same from here to here so copy it from here and paste it here now let's save this and come to the index page everything is same refresh there is something wrong we have to not include this while loop i have already added while loop so reset just remove this parenthesis save it and refresh why is it still query popping? Dollar raw CID. Our problem is here. It, it actually product as cat because it is category. So save it and let's check in our database product and as a cat. Why it is not working? Product and no, now product underscore cat. Oh, it is very difficult to find the error. We have copy. Actually, I am doing mistake. Now it's fine or not. Curly braces ends here, it ends here, and this ends here. So let's save it and let's refresh. So I have this when I click electronics, ah, it's working. Ladies wear, it's working. When I click on this brand, because it, it's not work, because we have not set an, uh, anything for this brand but this working very fine uh, and no refresh you can see so for this uh, uh, in the next part we will work on this brand and for uh, thanks for watching don't forget to like and subscribe i really request you to please subscribe uh, for the improvement of this channel so thanks for watching just